Dawn is here. And we're going to head off and do four crab pots first. Then we're going to head out, try a bit of bassing. Then we'll probably do a little bit of fishing. Lovely calm day, but a heck of a roll out there. You can hear it rolling up against the rocks. So got to be a little bit cautious with those sort of size waves. But we'll see what it's like when we get out there. We're only going to do four pots here, so whether you'll see them all depends on whether there's anything in them. If they're completely empty, you might not show it. I mean, what fun would that be, showing an empty pot? There it is. I'm going to put you down for a second so I can get this pot. Tiny one. <laughs> See if Rebecca can get anything in her pot. Mind you, we're on a bit of flat ground here. We're not quite near the reef, so I think we dropped it a little bit off. But we've got to try vary it a bit. When you're dropping in this depth, you don't know if you're quite landing too on it or too far off it. Another small one in there, watch the claw on that. It's gone through the net. <laughs> small crab. Small crab and a lobster. Let's have a gauge on that one just to get a size of it. Maybe a bit more actually. Now I've got hold of it. You've noticed since you pick it up, yeah, that's not even half a centimeter, like three mil under. Yeah, it feels smaller than that, but just shows. There you go, that's a centimetre oversized, that. <laughs> Why would you even bother? I mean, you don't even need to get half the family down, right? I wonder there's no crab around. At least we're seeing a few crabs. Look at that one. Next thing you know, that'll be sized. I'll show you the 
That's empty again, because that was empty yesterday completely. There's a hole in that pot. There has to be. There's no way, two days in a row, it doesn't mean you catch a crab. We're going in there getting out, but we need to really look over that pot. We're wasting our time throwing it back if there's a hole in it. Two days in a row with absolutely nothing. So where is it? No way a pot like this does not catch something. It's got to be this. Or something along this way. We've got a zip tie there. We can zip tie this against it. Yeah, we just stopped for some a bit of bassing. Rebecca's caught a small one. She's just going to put it back. Something grabbed on the way down, it felt like it, unless it was the rock. It might clip the rock. A bibby one. I say bibby one, I mean, it's not that far off side. There we go, Rebecca with a little bass, what's it, 43 or something like that? Uh, yeah, probably 42 and a half even. Alright, just about over the size limit, that one. But nice to see the fish. Right, let's try and catch a bigger one. Yep, first one always feels big. Just hooked into a fish. That's what we're after, a good sized one. This one will be coming home with us for sure. Very pleased with that one. That one was on the lazy lure again. A white one this time. Nice. positions now so we're going to try and fish for some bream and pollock and that sort of thing but we're also going to try for some squid with these little squid jigs just set up same sort of way as the bream rig really we used it yesterday as a test run and we caught a couple so it does work you can literally leave it hanging over the side and just gently up and down with it or just leave it hanging the boat will go up and down with the tide and hopefully pick the squid up So we've been sitting here for a little bit waiting to see if we can catch a bream and Rebecca has now hooked something and we're going to assume it's a bream. It seems to be putting up a good fight. So. It's the, it just like tap tap. Yeah. So it's, so it's going to be a decent one if it is. Yeah, it's not as big as I was expecting but it's alright. All right for the first one of the morning. Yep. Happy with that. There's a cuttlefish. Look. There. I can't see the ground. He must have followed your fish up. Yeah. So why is he, why is he not taking this? <laughs> he won't be anywhere near up my line, I suppose, while we're in. Yeah, he was about that big. It wasn't a giant one, but he was bigger than... He was about the size of the one the other night, the larger one. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. 
trouble with a little bream, they nick the bait because the hooks are like 1-0 and they work around it most of the time. There we go. Feels fairly substantial compared to two. Yeah, that's about the right length. There was two, one came off, I saw it below it. Around the rod, and my rod just suddenly shot over. Yeah. That's green. The back is hooked to fish as well. There it is. Bad one either. <laughs> Lovely. We've got that one. And that one down there. I've got another one biting, so I'm gonna have to put you down. Which is must be on there because it's slack line. Oh that's not a small fish. Yeah, bigger or tougher on there maybe. I'll put a bigger bait on the bottom actually. Let's see what I can get with a slightly bigger bait. Another one. Not huge, but not bad. Another one there. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. No double for you. See if I can hold the camera. <laughs> Long enough. Long enough, yeah. That's alright. Lovely, lovely. Right, I better put the camera down again. Best thing is we're not really drifting much, so we stay on the fish quite well. He's a little one, that one. Much better size. Yeah, <clears throat> so the bait we're using is mackerel again, and so the baits we're using again is mackerel and squid. But squid on some of the hooks, and mackerel on the others to just add a scent trail really with the mackerel. But we were using mackerel the other day, so. We, we literally came out with one piece of squid, like the, uh, what do you call it? The, the wing off a squid and one mackerel. Frozen, because we haven't got anything else, and we can't seem to catch any mackerel, I think. You know what? Well, that's something different. Got a rass. Because we're near the reef. I could be very wrong, but. Straight onto it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's straight by the rock area, so to me that strikes as something else. Might be a rass. But looking at. That's got a very pollocky vibe to it to me. I don't know what it feels like to you. 
Well, look at that. What do you think that is? You should better lift that one, I would have thought. If you're careful. Yep. Pollock, see? Yeah, nice. Right by the reef. Just hold it up a bit higher, please. It didn't hang about. Oh, lovely. Great stuff. Rebecca's got another fish. Fish. What fish has she got? We're we talking bream seeds. Mackerel. Get that in. Oh, that's what we want. Yeah, but hold on to it as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Mackerel, we haven't seen a mackerel yeah. for in four or five days, well for about two weeks, but generally fishing this way, we haven't yeah. seen one. Nice. There she goes again. Don't catch the jigs or it'll be a right old mess. Oh, I'm getting bites as well now. Yeah. What have you got? Oh, crikey moves. Getting bites too. Yep. Green on my end. Oh, that's a bella. Look at them two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course yours is bigger. I know. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to take that. She was time. thinking it though. I heard it. I was thinking She's like, yeah, but mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> but still, cracking great big green. Yeah, lovely. And I caught mine on squid. Plus, you're fishing right in the sun, so I can't see a thing. But we'll try. Here it comes. Oh, look at the size of it. Just lift it straight in. It's a nice one. It's because it came off a bit weird with the other hook, eh? But it's a nice one still. The double. Oh, the double. Right, guess what? Rebecca's got another fish. <laughs> if there's a fish on here, it's going to be minute. I'm going to bring it in slowly. That way, I don't damage him with the pressure so much. Oh, no, he's getting bigger. He's getting bigger. Oh, he got bigger. Oh, heck. Heck some, heck some. Replacement. It's a mackerel. Yay. We haven't, we've had one mackerel, two mackerel now. The other days, we just haven't had mackerel. So brilliant. I keep missing mine. My hooks must be the long off. Way I'm setting my face up. Uh, yeah. feel a bit it's getting bigger. Oh, it's getting a lot bigger. I think they're lining up. Well, it felt smaller to start with, now it suddenly feels a lot heavier. Yeah, I'm lining up. They're good solid size bream though, look at them. Prime dinner, that. Yeah, 
seems to be doing well. We don't need them, that's big. Big one and a small one. Now we're on a decent sizes. Right. Well, it's a double. That I can see for sure. The top one's alright. The bottom one I'll release. Picked up a horse mackerel or a scad. Um, great bait for bream, but also good for eating. No bonier than a mackerel. People say they're bony, but they're not. It's just because they got this hard blade on the skin of the tail. You just cut that off, it's only on the skin. And uh, there you go. And they grunt a little bit as well. I didn't know that, but they're a jack family. I think jack runs anyway. There you go. But we're going to keep that one for um, bream bait because we know that we catch bream on them. Bream, we've got very little bait at the moment. We need something to catch the bream. Or for the next trip anyway. Maybe not today, but... Right, deploying mackerel head on jig. Now I used to do this to catch squid, put a uh, fish bait on the jig. The thing is, this isn't done for that reason. Um, it's done to attract the bream today. It's just sending it to the bottom, sending a scent out. But I used to do it with fish, and it used to be very, very um, effective at catching squid. But you don't want it, these jigs, the spikes on them are way too small. Normally the spikes would be a lot bigger. There you go. Hopefully a conga doesn't come along and snap all that. The rod could go over. Or is it a ras? Or maybe a whole line of mackerel. Or maybe it's a tuna. Ooh. Nice, yeah. lovely green. Just hold that one up a minute. A good look at it. Yeah. Prime one. Right, I've got to put it down. Get bites. Getting bites again. Gorgeous, it is gorgeous. Look at it. Ooh, it's a double, double big skis. Bottom one's a gem. Look at that. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> look at it. Yeah, look at it. Size of these bream we're getting are absolutely. Well, there you have it, bream fishing. We're going to pack it in now. The lines are a bit tangled up, and we're going to um, we're going to go off and do some pots. Now, whether you'll see that in this video depends how big this video is. There's a lot of bream in this video, but uh, if we get something, we'll possibly put it on the end. We'll see. Right, we're going to check the pots. We're just trying out different little reefs around the bay that we haven't really tried before. We've had a we've had a four pounder a little while back on one of the reefs, but you know, we're not getting a lot, but we are getting them here and there. Not a bad sized crab. We're going to let her go though. She's very, very got the pot. She's very pale, which means she hasn't had that shell that long, so she won't have anything in her, even though she is hard. She'll be full of water. And it's a female, so we just want to let her go. There you go. Go and lay some eggs or something. <laughs> we need more crab on the side. We seem to be lacking in them these days. 
Yeah. Right, let's see if we got anything in these ones. Eel in this one. I don't know where that spider crab stand at this end. Of the pot. Ooh, ooh, and and Absolute belters. Look at those two. And a con grill. Put them down here and I'll quickly show you. We've got to get this eel out the far. Look at that. Look at those. Excellent. So we've got two in the open area. Please with that. Very pleased with that. This is our big square box pot, aka it's a store pot made into a crab pot. Flip top. Did a bit of welding on it, the flip top pot. It's done alright, it's had a big crab this year, it's had yeah. a few lobsters and it catches a lot of spiders normally. But it's a good spot. Yeah, yeah that's it. Great one for showing the catching if it's got anything in it, of course. All right, I'm going to put it down because again, this is a heavy pot. You have it lots of spider crabs it's no good of course like i said before they're no good to eat now they've all changed their shells been breeding so they'll just be full of water a little bit of monary not good to eat so we throw them back wait till next year for the spring again and they're all too small these ones anyway all right here we go I've been drinking water since like this morning. It's very unfriendly that fire. Another successful day. Very successful in fact. Plain. On its way. And there you go. Some lovely bream.